In this Revit tutorial, I'm going to go over creating a curtain wall from scratch, basically. Uh, so if you want to put in um, you know, a, a large window wall or something like that, you're probably going to go into Wall and then scroll down past all of the regular exterior, generic, and interior walls to get to the curtain wall system. The storefront curtain wall is the uh, option that's the most set up for you. It has all of the grid work and all of that in place already, um, but it's, um, you know, it might not be what you're really looking for. You might want to create something that's a little bit more unique or asymmetrical or something like that. In that case, you're probably going to pick just regular curtain wall. With a storefront curtain wall, the other type, uh, when you go to place that in an existing wall situation like I have here, it will actually cut that out automatically. The curtain wall, as it's set up by default in Revit, will not. So there's a couple of different ways I could deal with that. Uh, the first way is to simply place it in here and then cut the geometry. If I go and I'll just kind of pick my uh, mid midpoints here, my center line rather, on the wall. If I click here and here, you get a warning that says the highlighted walls overlap. Uh, that's because I basically have one wall inside of another. If that happens, what I can do is go up to the geometry panel and I can pick cut geometry. I'll first select this exterior wall and then I'm going to come in and I want to pick the edge right here where my new curtain wall panel exists and that will actually cut that out. Okay, That's one way to do it and that works perfectly fine. The other way to go about that to just kind of get things um, starting off on the right foot if you will before you move forward would be to go into edit type and say that you'd like it to embed. So if I do that what I might do is just delete this curtain wall and then I'm going to go into this curtain wall here, the same one, but before I place it, I'm actually going to go into Edit Type. If I go into Edit This Type, you'll see in here that we can check Automatically Embed. This is what the um, storefront window has checked, and that's why it cuts away that other geometry. Rather than um, making changes to the default curtain wall that Revit has, I should really go in and duplicate it before I make this change. So if that's something I want to do, what I should do is go up and say I'd like to duplicate this curtain wall. I'll maybe call it curtain wall demo. Um, you can name it whatever you'd like. Say OK. And then I'll check automatically embed. And I'll say OK. Now if I go to place that wall and I come out here and click my two points, it will cut away that existing geometry, um, just like the storefront one does. So um, the process is up to you. You can do it either way. You'll get the same result um, ultimately, so whichever you're more comfortable with is fine. Basically what I have now is one enormous piece of glass. Uh, this line right here is my existing floor, so I have a gap between my curtain wall and the floor, so that's something I'd want to address at some point. I'm just going to scroll down and go to my east elevation view that happens to be uh, the view that I have right here. And here is my enormous piece of glass, so it doesn't have any separation or anything like that. Not really too practical. To add um, you know, a grid system of mullions, what I need to do is come up to the Architecture tab in the Build panel and add a curtain grid. So when I add a curtain grid, I will get the Modify Place Curtain Grid tab here, and you'll see that you can add all segments or one segment. So it's just you know, by default doing all segments. So I can come in and add either vertical or horizontal lines. To add vertical lines, you hover over the horizontal line of the uh, curtain wall and you click. So I might add, let's say, a couple of panels here. And then to add horizontal ones, I just hover over the vertical lines and I can add them this way. I can add one segment, so instead of it going on both sides, I could add segments this way. Uh, 
and so on. Um, I can grab the modify tool and move these around uh, by using their temporary dimensions. So if I like, uh, let's say I want this one to be five feet, I can move that one down. And then I can select this grid and make that one six feet and so on. I could use the align tool and align this grid and this grid as well. Okay. So your design is really up to you. You can um, you know, create whatever you'd like. And once you get the grid system in here, what you need to do is now put emollients. So these grid lines um, are really there as a guide, but they, they don't really exist. Uh, so it's not as if you actually have metal there in between the glass or anything like that. So what we need to do then is go back to the architecture tab and add mullions. And the mullions you can you know, add in the same basic way, whether you're doing the whole thing or a segment. You can also um, do all grid lines at once. So if I pick that and then hover over my um, grid lines, you'll see that it's activating and wants to do them all. If I click, it will put mullions there entirely sort of by the default parameters, and that's perfectly fine. Or, or I could say Control Z and undo that, and I could do it manually. And by doing it manually, you kind of pick the order they're going in, and um, you know I could pick, let's see these, and then I might say I'd like to do a grid line segment, and then just do this one here and here, and then down the bottom, and I might actually leave this bottom one open. And why would I do that? Well, if I wanted to put a um, door in my curtain wall at some point, I probably wouldn't want to have a mullion there because people would trip on that. Um, however, if I wasn't sure, I could add the mullion now in a segment and it'll make it really easy to get rid of later. Um, so that's up to you. But that's really the basics of getting your own um, grid system in. If I go to a 3D view, just so I can take a look at that, you'll see that now I have um, you know, a curtain wall with a little bit more variety than the storefront might give me. So that's really the basics of creating one from scratch and adding your own uh, grid pattern to it.